still working in the ER. I'm still a nurse. <laughs> Chart everything and I volunteered when I was like 16 years old until I was like 20 years old. Carpooling because we're kind of close by today. <laughs> Can I just get one tall iced coffee with cream and one pump of classic? Good morning everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. It's my second day of orientation. I'm actually at another location. It's super windy right now and it's actually really sunny. So I decided to get an iced coffee and bring a face mask. Have a great day. Thank you. Hey, can you take care? You too. Can you take care? You too. Damn, these people are freaking quick. You know, I normally don't like country music, but during Christmas, I guess it's a little bit more acceptable for me. I used to love country music when I was in sixth grade, and that's like literally all I used to listen to in middle school, but now I'm like more into EDM. Anyway, right now it's about 8.05. That was the quickest freaking Starbucks run ever, so God bless those Starbucks workers for working so damn fast. So I got a iced coffee with cream and one pump of classic it's a little bit unsweetened but that's okay it's so windy outside it's insane at my work already um, we're having another day of orientation I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing and we're gonna be going on a scavenger hunt at 1730 to 1930 I'm a little bit sad because you know I thought we were getting out at 1700 so I wanted to go to get chicken and just hang out, but that's okay. What can you do? Glad I'm here on time this time, because last time I definitely was not. Yeah, quite a long day, so we're doing some training at this campus until 3 p.m.? Oh, 5.30. I really hate military time. 5.30 we go to the other campus and then we're gonna do like a scavenger hunt and then get, like get us access to the medication system which is the same thing that I used before Pixis. Um, I think the biggest thing that I'm gonna have trouble with is their charting system because it took me a while to get acclimated to the charting system that I used to be on so to be on a new charting system now it's kind of weird. I hate it when people pull up next to me when there's so much parking. <laughs> now it is today I wore scrubs because I'm so over the whole um, ordeal of business casual already kind of reminds me of like Disneyland because of the fact that they're like very customer service based and I think at the end of the day every hospital really is because you know that's how you get reimbursed which sounds kind of fucked up that it's not based on their outcome it's based on how happy they are it's based on those service it, surveys that they do at the end and those determine if the hospital gets reimbursed or not there's so much like, business behind a hospital per se so it's kind of crazy nice to have the nine to five because of the fact that you get a chance to like like I was able to work out afterwards I was able to like kind of chill and it made me feel like the night was so long even though I slept at like 11 but I don't like working five days a week so I don't know it's a give and take oh, freaking and then I scheduled a COVID test on the 10th let me see maybe I can reschedule myself this thing is gonna give me the poops I think I am lactose intolerant let me see if I can reschedule myself. I don't know if I should bring my blood mail or not. Let me figure out where the hell it is.
feels nice to be early into my past life. <laughs> Yo, hi, hello. It's 10.30 right now. We're on a break. It's only about like 15 minutes, but so far, I didn't even know what we were doing today. Honestly, I thought we were doing more skills, but I guess we're doing more so the charting today, which is actually quite helpful because I have never used this particular charting system. And the thing is, when especially when you're an ER nurse, charting is super important because you are on a time crunch constantly. So it's good to always have, um, well, it's helpful to be like, first of all, like a fast typer and then know how to navigate your system. Because at the end of the day, all your charting, if it was never charted, then it wasn't technically done. And you always have to chart as if you're gonna be like in a deposition, like it's gonna be read in court. So super important. Um, I I kind of like their system a lot better than the one that I've used at my prior job. I feel like it's a lot more user friendly and it's just less clicking. Um, but there is obviously more emphasis at this company to chart everything and such. So we'll definitely see how it goes. I don't know. I know that it's obviously way different once you're on the floor. I. I don't know, but I'm gonna go pee in a few minutes. I just wanted to step out because I was tired of wearing my mask. So, that's that. I might um, bring my lunch, because I saw that they had a fridge there, so I think I'm gonna stick my lunch in the fridge. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'm gonna just chill for a while and then I'll see you guys later. We're not really doing much other than charting um, I guess for the whole day but I did want to say I noticed that I don't know if I ever recorded myself during my first orientation but when I first oriented for my first job as a nurse it was so confusing especially ED charting is different than any other charting because we have to triage them and then we have to do a bunch of other stuff and I know that everyone shits on ER nurses for charting like the very least which isn't wrong because we do minimal charting um, but we do different types of charting which is why we're always on a different system as opposed to people on the floor so anyway my point to this was when I first started orienting to the first system it's, it was called Cerner that's the one that I use and then we're using Epic now um, Cerner was like so confusing to me and I think it was more so confusing because I had no experience but now going through Epic which is a charting system that this company uses and a lot of other ones use as well it's a lot more easy and user-friendly for me because I guess I know a lot more about it so it's really nice it's really the flow of it's a lot easier and I, I see why um, you'd obviously want to hire someone with experience as opposed to someone who's like brand brand new because it's really difficult to train someone who's new and like straight out of school and um, yeah that's all that I wanted to say so if you have a hard time with all your charting and such, it's don't feel bad. Everyone starts off like that and then you eventually get used to it. But yeah, it's almost time to go back. I'm so sad I don't want to go back. It's just so hard for me to sit there for so long. Like, I don't know. I don't know how people even do Zoom calls and stuff because I remember I had a Zoom Zoom call and I couldn't even pay attention for the life of me. Maybe if I like don't do the Zoom calls in my room, I'll be better off, but I do have a Zoom class on Monday, so we'll definitely see how that goes. I don't know why I never noticed it, but they do have a code blue button on the elevator. Interesting. Hi everyone, it's lunchtime and I warmed up my food already. It's basically just my breakfast. 
super pumped about that because I haven't eaten anything today and it's already noon. But I always intermittent fast, it's usually just what I do. But I prefer to eat in my car just because my aunt actually got COVID from eating in the break room. So I am not gonna eat in the break room because I'm not gonna risk getting COVID. But if you're really interested in what I'm having, I'm sure you're not because it's breakfast food and it's like noon. Just pancakes, sausage, and egg. And my grandma made it for me, so shout out to her because I literally didn't bring anything else to eat. Um, but, mm, I love breakfast food. Anyway. What I noticed was they have a lot more things that they expect of us as opposed to my last job where um, we had like pharmacy on standby, stuff like that. So it's kind of different for sure. Um, I think what I miss the most is obviously, I love my pharmacist and I like them clear, like close by because I always have questions about medications. Like you obviously know I didn't thrive in pharmacology so I always need them there. So to have them not there is kind of weird. I might go back to that Starbucks to get some tea. I wish that they would give us tea instead of coffee, but of course coffee is technically like cheaper, I guess. It was really hard to pay attention in that class. At the same time, it's a little bit too slow for me and I wish it was a little bit faster so we could save time. But at the end of the day, no matter what, we're still getting paid. So they can go as slow or fast as they want. Anyway, I don't know if I need to clarify this or not, but basically For those of you who thought that I was quitting Nursing because I know my first vlogmas people got confused and they thought I quit and I didn't quit I just changed Companies still working in the ER. I'm still a nurse. Same thing as I did last time Just a different company. Also, look at these These are so cute I have one here and then I have another one over here. And they're from Daiso. I would sit outside except for the fact that it's so windy. Today is just gonna be a cheat day because all I've been doing is eating fast food. And then I'm getting this. And then I realized I had this and maybe this would have satisfied my sweet tooth. It's just like this Asian wafer snack. I think I really wanna try that dragon fruit freeze. I just wish it was happy hour. But it's okay. <sighs> the Starbucks line was way too long. I was gonna get some tea from there, but there was just like no way I was gonna wait in that line. It was like literally like seven cars long. And this one's like three, so I'll just wait here. I'm not really hungry. I just really want something to sip on because I'm probably gonna be here for a while. Can I get one regular um, dragon fruit freeze? I wish it was happy hour because it's only one dollar and it's like three times the price because it was like 2.90 i did actually want to go to chick-fil-a because they have like the best um it's like a lemonade um freeze i think but that's like 11 minutes away and if i didn't take forever eating my pancakes <laughs> i also heard that all the dine-ins closed um i haven't been out so <laughs> I wouldn't know, but even the outdoor, which I think is insane because like imagine how many people like tried so freaking hard. I gotta put on my mask. How many people tried so hard to like accommodate for the outdoor seating and now it's just like getting completely like shut down. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Good, no, thank you. You too. Aw, that guy was so nice. Thank you. You too. Try this bad boy out. This is what it looks like. Oh, my wow. No, wow. Not my favorite. Do not recommend this at all. It sucked. It was the dragon fruit freeze from Taco Bell. I don't know why this one is It's like medicine. I don't know why I keep tasting it. I want to get some fresh air, so I'm going to walk around here for a few minutes. Um, it's a little bit chilly outside if you can't tell by the wind. I'm tired of sitting there. I am gonna watch some YouTube videos or listen to a podcast while I walk around this park. It's kind of a nice running trail over here. I kind of wish I had brought some clothes so that I could have like went on a little run or exercise. But 
Um, hold on, my thing started playing. If anybody has any podcasts that they're listening to that are, I really like inspirational podcasts that like motivate you. Those are the podcasts that I normally listen to. But if there's any like just interesting ones that you guys recommend, comment down below. Because I'm always looking for new podcast requests, I mean recommendations, and stuff like that. So, I just needed a breather from being indoors, so it's nice to step outside and get a chance to walk around. I think I'll try and walk back, um, maybe in five to ten minutes. But, yeah, it's nice to just go on a little walk. Don't forget to go walk outside if you haven't. Look at this cute little running area. I don't think I could even access it actually. But I'll just walk on this trail. But yeah, I'll see you guys after my walk. I'm just gonna listen to some music or whatever. Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm on my lunch break right now and I've been sitting since like eight in the morning. So I decided to get up and walk around this park that's close by. But it's crazy in the morning to see. I volunteered when I was like 16 years old until I was like 20 years old at this company. And now to see that I'm an actual like paid employee, it's crazy to see like how far I've like actually come. The next day. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I am combining again my eight and nine. Yeah, because it always hits somewhere past week one. Carpooling because we're kind of close by today. Anything you want to say to the vlog, babe? Uh, get tested for COVID. I scheduled mine. I think it's not until the fifteenth. There's like very, very little openings. So, for those of you who want to get tested, I schedule it ahead county. of time. It's free too. Yeah, I think it's better to schedule in your area because if your no area has more. Get. Yeah, because there's less people. It's not there's less people. It's less people are hes more people are hesitant to get tested. I told my parents I was negative, and they're like, "Oh, good, we don't have to get tested." I'm like, "No." Oh, that's funny. You still get tested. Yeah, just in case you never know. It's just I'm not positive. That's the only thing, right? So it's like that's all that matters. But like at the same time, you should probably get it just in case. But they're like, "No, I don't want to find out." No. Just get the vaccine. Okay, I mean you can get the vaccine because you know they're a little older, so they, they qualify for like the first few people. Really, the older people do? Yeah. That's weird. I thought they would test it on the most like strong people first. The most strong people first? No, yeah. apparently with this vaccine, I was reading up on it. Older people have a less likely chance to get like you know adverse symptoms Reaction. or side side effects. Yeah, apparently. I'm like, That's what the weird. heck? It's so weird, so I don't know. There's something different about this vaccine where like older people, more immunocompromised people, they're fine. It's the younger people that get it that, you know, messes up, messes them up. So I don't know. I'm going Comment to down below if you're gonna get the vaccine. I'm gonna go to a seminar, so I'll let you guys know if- uh, Oh yeah, today? No, on Monday, so. It's Cause like people keep asking me like, oh, since you're a bioengineer, you should probably know about the vaccine. Like I understand how it works, but it's like, I don't necessarily know how the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine works like all that well because it's like patented technology. It's like I don't know. Yeah. It's like I understand how it works. It, there's, I think that's what people are most scared of is the fact that nobody really knows it's the first round. And I get it. Um, we also have to consider what if we run out of vaccines in the second round? Oh, we are. I don't, it's not. An, it's not a matter of what if. It's a matter of when. But obviously the people who have already gotten COVID, um... That's why they're, those people it. are out. So shouldn't you be testing people an for antibodies first prior to giving them a vaccine? What do you think people are doing to get tested? For the trial? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I have my tea. Mm -hmm. Alex has his coffee somewhere. Yeah. And... Just another day. Hopefully this day will only be eight hours. <laughs> last words. Anyway, I'm kind of feeling brekkie today. Brekkie? What's that, babe? Breakfast! What's up, 
y'all it is now at 10 p.m i've been a very very bad vlogger i haven't vlogged anything from today um i was just at orientation um we mostly had in-class training which is just more um, learning the charting system if anybody has any tips and has used epic before because I am a Cerner bitch So <laughs> that's the only charting system that I really actually know so um, if you have any tips on how to use epic um, It's also known as like health connect or whatever um, Shoot them down below because I really do appreciate um, Any tips you guys can give me because I know a lot of you guys actually use epic which is really really helpful um Today, basically, we didn't really do very much. We took a bunch of tests in the morning, and um, I'm not even gonna lie, me and Alex drank a little bit of soda yet last night, and um, we fell asleep pretty early, which was nice. I slept around like 10 or something, but when we walked in, we had like all these tests, and I shit you not, like we had this really very thorough and difficult ACLS test, and I was like, oh my god. You had to score like 80% on it and I was like, oh my god, what if we don't score 80%? And like, it was, it had like junctional rhythms, intervention for second degree, identifying second degree blocks. And I was like, dude, like to be honest with you, I bank on a lot of my um, EKG texts to help me with those. Because yeah, whatever, I know the interventions, but like it's hard for me to identify it. So they just basically feed me it. Like I ask them like, what is this? Like how, what is the rhythm been, rhythm been in? And they help me so yeah if i don't have my ekg text i don't really know if they have ekg text actually but i do know that they do have um er text lvns um they have a lot of help which is nice but right now i am just editing um and i'm not back tomorrow until 10 a.m which is super nice um and there's not really much to update y'all oh thank you all for like commenting on my um instagram story i know like literally so many of you had um messaged me which is really nice for you like you didn't have to do that but thank you for all the well wishes this casting call that i really wanted to enter alex in i think i'm gonna call him right now rave wonderland's casting call and babe are you asleep I know, but you gotta pick a photo. You hear anything roaring in the background? It's my heater. I have a lot of editing to do, and I've just been super lazy lately. I'm not even gonna lie. It's not even that I didn't have time, it's that I was really lazy. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's only Vlogmas Day 9, so I need to get over myself and get on it. To light my candle, clean up this area a little bit. Um, I also really want to rewrite my notes because I am like super anal about my notes Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video It's probably gonna be a really lengthy one because I talked quite a bit and I combined both day 8 and 9 Um, if you guys are enjoying these vlogs, don't forget to comment and like I do respond to every single comment that someone comments down below. It takes me a while sometimes but I always do respond to them, so don't forget to shoot me a comment down below. And follow me on my social media, at Nurse. I have TikTok and Instagram right now, and um, my Snapchat. If you don't already follow me on Snapchat, I don't know if you, anyone's going to get to this part of the video. My Snapchat, I post a lot of more, like, behind the scenes than I do on my Instagram and my TikTok. Want to follow me on, on Snapchat, sorry. It's Jasmine underscore Manatee. And it's all the cool people, so if you don't follow me in there, um, don't forget to follow me in there. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog because... Starting at 10, so I'm super excited for that. I'm going to actually be able to enjoy my morning, so I'm excited about that. That, but I'll see you guys in the next vlog.